So let's do this. Let's do a forward reverse roll. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three. Straight off your roll sheet. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Now I'm going to change one note of it. I'm going to change the first note from a three to a five. So instead of three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one, it's going to be five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Okay, so you might want to work that a little bit just to make sure you got, you're used to that. Okay, so here's here's what my left hand is doing. Um, I've got my second finger on the tenth fret of the second string. I've got my first finger on the ninth fret of the first string. And that's that's my two two fretted notes for this. And I'm gonna go five two one five. That's the front part of my forward, the forward part of my forward reverse roll. Five, two, one, five. And again, my forward reverse roll in this case is starting on the fifth string. Five, two, one, five. Now for the reverse part, I'm just going to take these fingers off. One, two, three. One. So two fingers on. Five, two, one, five. Fingers off. And it's all nice and even. One. second lick, I'm going to do the exact same thing, except these two fingers, instead of being here, will be back here. On the 5th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret, 1st string. Other than that, it's, it's an identical lick. 5, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2. Again, fretting the forward part, taking uh, open strings for the reverse part. Okay, so that's my two licks I've got so far. Up the neck, down the neck. Up the neck one more time. And my little ending lick is going to be the third string on the uh, fifth fret. And uh, then I'm going to play the uh, open second string. Three, two are the strings. Fifth fret, open. And then seventh fret on the fourth string, then the open first string. So three, two, four, one are my strings. Fifth fret on the third string, seventh fret on the fourth string. And I'm going to use my index finger here and my third finger here. And then I'm going to end it with a three pinch. Three, two, four, one, three, pinch. Fifth fret, seventh fret. Now these, these two fingers don't have to go down at the exact same time. You can put this one down first. I would like to keep this one on if possible so that we don't, don't chop it off. We want to be smooth sounding. So in this case, you might have to curl your hand way around to uh, free up that first, make sure that first string is clear. Three, pinch. So that's that ver Cripple Creek A part variation. And you'll notice the resemblance to a Dillard's tune called Banjo in the Holler from a long time ago. I guess back in the 60s, they did that. So that's uh, kind of where I borrowed this from, this one little part. Great tune, by the way. I think they do it in the key of A, so it'd be up higher. But uh, we're in we're in G. Well, really, technically, you know, Cripple Creek should be in the key of A too, as well, which means means I'd be capoed back here on the second fret. We can work on that though. So here's my first lick: five, two, one, five, one, two. Second lick. Third lick, same as the first lick. So, instead 
instead of going. Okay? And I will repeat that just like I repeat the regular A part. Okay, so now let's work on our first B part variation. Um, it's pretty easy because instead of just doing three slides for my, my B part, the front half of my B part, and four pinch, and you'll remember the, the second half is slide, pull off, hammer off. So for the, the, the front half, the first half of it, Instead of doing slide, 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 four pinch, I'm going to replace the second slide lick with a pull-off lick. So I'm going to go slide, pull-off. Uh, let me try it again. Slide, pull-off, slide, four pinch. Finish it out the same way. Slide, pull-off, hammer, the same as usual. So instead of going slide, 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 four, pin, slide, pull, hammer, I'm, I'm replacing one lick, my second slide lick, with a pull off lick. So I'm doing slide, pull off, slide, four, pin, slide, pull off, hammer. Again, the second half is the same, it doesn't change. Okay? So that's the way that goes. So now let's take a look at our second B part variation. This one is a, a little on the on the offbeat side. I mean, literally offbeat, because you got this slide happening three times: three, two, one, five. Slide, slide. But you got it happening in odd places, uh, and and our roll is different too. Instead of doing a Three, two, five, one is as my roll. I go do a three, two, one, five, and then end up on the one. So three, two, one, five, one. So uh, and I start with the slide. Same, it's the same uh, left hand movement from going from the second to the third fret and slide it. And again, you want to hear both of those notes. The, the A here and the B flat there. And then the open B string. And my strings again are three, two, one, five, one. Three, two. And then one, five, three, one, four. That's all open strings. So I got three, two, one, five, one. Three, two, one, five, three. Slide one more time. Three, two, one, five, three, one. Then I'm going to pick it up with my pull off lick, same pull off lick, and same hammer on it. Okay? If you count beats, it all works out, but it just feels like those slides are happening in odd places because I'm going one and two and three, four and Slides are happening on the fourth beat of those measures. One and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, and four and one and two and three, four. So you just got to 
kind of get the rhythm straight in your head. But just um, for starters, just uh, play quarter notes where quarter notes are indicated, eighth notes where eighth notes are indicated, and um, you know just keep up with it that way. It'll it'll feel weird at first, but once you uh, once you get it going, it'll uh, it'll sound more natural. I think. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. <laughs> this is helping so far now we're gonna put it all together okay so let's take uh, what we've learned with Cripple Creek the regular parts and to work the variations in there too and uh, try to make a whole song package out of this and take it beyond just the sort of beginner novice tune that is usually made out to be okay because I think it's a real good tune, and uh, I always enjoy playing it. So uh, let's start with our intro. Remember what that was? Three slides. Four pinch slide.
camera there. Here, hang on. Here's my ending. That's uh, 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 16 and 17 there. So I do, um, I do my slide here. Pretty easy. And my high um, second part, five, two, one, five, three, three. Now the other way to do that is with out of your triangle. I choose to do it this way because it's easier to put two fingers up here and work it that way than it is to put all four fingers on at the same time. To me anyway. So that's 11 and 9. 11 on the second string, 9 on the first string, 5, 2, 1, 5. This is 9, 7 on the third string. So this is 5, 2, 1, 5, 3 strings and then these last two notes 16 17 16 17 okay that's your ending so uh, hope we're having fun with all this I wanted to uh, go back and sort of revisit Cripple Creek and and uh, get all this other stuff in there to hopefully make it um, make it a better song for you.